Yo, this is it on the play, The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. So, last time we went and got ourselves all Tiger Scrolls, so we become the Master Swordsman. But, we have still some more things to do. Do you remember those cute little punchy rock-carded Gorons? Yeah, we met some of them, especially one that's been like pushing onto a place in the Eastern Hills, I think? Or was it London Ranch? Yeah, London Ranch, the bottom right left here. So, we have been getting a few of those Gorons, but there's still many more we can get. Some of them I even skipped. And today's episode is going to be focusing about getting the final ones so we can unlock the treasure that's in the end of that tunnel where they are chipping down the rocks. So, there are six locations to get Gorons helping with the distribution of kinstones. The first one, which we already have done, is here in the Eastern Hills, which is basically at the farm here on the left side. Then, one other piece I also gotten while I was doing questing was the one located in the Minish Woods, basically just southwest of Syrup the Witch's Hut. But there are four more that I've been skipping that I should not have skipped, but at least I've been skipping them and now I can go and get them now. So, let's go and get them right first. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna get the Goron here in Mount Canel, which is located around uh, here somewhere. I can't remember really where, but it's, it's around here somewhere. Yeah, top left here. The cave, you see the cave on the left side? There's another cave to the left of the um, left of the place there. So we're gonna go there and get one Goron there. After that, we're gonna go to Eastern Hills. There's gonna be another cave here. We can get ourselves another Goron. We have a place in the Trilby Highlands where we can go get ourselves a Goron. And we have a place here in Lake Helia. We can also get a Goron to help us out. So once we've gotten all of those, we'll be getting back to Eastern Hills. No, not Eastern Hills. Long Ranch. The bottom left, and we're gonna see how all the Gorons will do when they are all together. So, let's get our asses moving. Let's go to Mount Crenel first to find a fusion kinstone place at the wall that we found twice before. So we'll start the one with Mount Crenel. To get one, we need to go to Mount Crenel. Just work to work right now, right there. Then just go down everything you can until you get to the rocky parts on the far left side. Hit, because no, I don't even have rocks. I can't even shoot my powerful little beams. I can fix that. And here, we have fairies. Yay, now I'm full. I'm firing my lasers! Another wall. Watch out for falling rocks. We don't care. We're gonna go straight up. So now we have to climb all the way up to the top of Mount Canel. Once we reach the top, we're gonna take the ladder on the left side and head down. But the chest that we have picked up a few stones before. We get a kinstone piece, a blue one. Always nice to have. You know, when you can fuse kinstone with someone, it can give you some key. Bonuses and some really nice surprises. Oh, you see the thing on the left there? I'm gonna go there very soon. So we'll go up here. Now we are on the peak of Mount Crenel, as you can see. Clouds everywhere. No enemies that keep jumping on me. Now, in order to progress here, we're going to go down the ladder here. As you can see, there's one cave here, but we have this thing on the left side. You know what that means? Time to dig. Here. Mole mitts are in place. Before we go and get our kinstone fusion here, there's a piece of heart. And we already have three or four pieces, so we're gonna get ourselves another heart container right now. Get our way. This is the enemy. Get our way. Get her. Oh, he had a kinstone piece as well. Nice. And we get a piece of heart. And since we had three pieces from before, we now have four. So now we have a new heart container and we have 15 hearts. Pretty damn nice. And of course, there are a lot of hearts that I've been missing and the total heart we can get is 20. So, we still have a lot of heart pieces to get, but I'm not going to focus on them. It's just too much of a hassle. Switch like this and then just you only can beat it with the boomerang, so if you don't have the boomerang, get away from it. Like, really fast. Oh 
wish the sword got strong. I don't really get any strong. Oh yeah, crap. Choo Choo still takes two hits to beat. The thing I like about the Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past is that when you upgrade your sword, enemies that took two hits to be, t to be taken out will now go down in one hit. Enemies that took three hits now takes two. Upgrade your sword again, then enemies that got had to be hit like two times or three times get hit in one. And here we see, here we have this thing at the wall here. Let's defuse kinstones. Let's fuse with this one. Now let's see what happens when we fuse kinstones with that one. Here's the Goron Cave. Oh. Uh, the next wall looks a little tougher. I don't think we can break it. That doesn't mean we're going to give up, Goron. That's the spirit. You see that there, they only have two Goros. You see there's four spots, so they're gonna need more power. Being a witch! Oh. I thought I smelled a bunny! What are you doing here? Oh. Oh. Er, give me a hand back into this wall, girl. That's the spirit. So now there are three, that's kinda cool. But they still need one more to break through the wall. So that's a bit unfortunate, but don't worry. We have been through one place, it's time to go for another place and get another Goro out so we can break the wall. And then we'll see what's gonna happen. So we exit from here. Let's get our green out. And let's start going to our next destination. And now I'm gonna actually go back to the Eastern Hills. Let's go back to your home. And to the Southern Hyrule Field. And we're just gonna jump up here. Like this. So annoying. Now, even the first kind of Goron piece was at the farm. Wow. Link is so bad at dodging these rocks, it's kind of incredible. So, you know, the first Goron piece was talking to this guy, this farmer here. But, the second piece is already in here. That's kind of cool. Maybe they're, uh, maybe they're friends with the Gorons or something since they have two ones there. Now, you see these red rupees there are just a trick. There are like likes inside of them, so we don't want to fight. One of them was real, another one was not. Okay, I wasted some money, that's fine. And here we have another one. Now let's see what happens when it fuse. It doesn't really work, but we have another one. Now let's see what happens with the Goron Cave. There are three. Can we get number four? That's a tough wall! The three of us together couldn't even break it! But don't give up, Gorons. You're strong. You like rocks. You eat rocks for breakfast. And here we go! Oh. I smell delicious stones! They're right on the other side of this wall! Huh? Can you give me a hand, Goro Goro? Now let's see! Yes! There we go! One more! Yeah! They broke it! Great! But, there are another wall for them to break through, and this time they need even more power. So don't worry, we still have two more Gorons to find. Let's go and get them right away. So the next one will be located at the Trilby Highlands, or the Tripoli Highlands, correctly. Get there quickly, just go to, to town. Then we're just going to roll ourselves up to the northern Hyrule field. Let's go through from here. Then we go on the ghost. So basically, we're just going to go to Mount Grinnell, should we say. Let's go to the right way, of course. Well, sometimes I even mix up a bit. I forget that the northwestern part is just for Royal Valley. This one is for Mount Grinnell. Now, Mount Grinnell will now be to the left here. So you go back to this, we'll get to tri Triple Highlands. And if you continue here, so the mother one of those tingles. Okay, the dig there was not the one we're gonna to go to. Now if we go to here, we'll be at Mount Cornell's base. So what we'll do instead is just go up here, and here we have the prize. Another wall to dig through. Let's go through it. And dig, dig, dig. We have a treasure chest here as well. Break in, stone piece! Awesome. Dig, 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 and... 
We find our prize. Let's use the kinstones. Now let's see what the four Gorons are up to digging through in the cave at the Longhorn Ranch. This is a tough wall. What a solid wall. I think you have to wait for more help to come along. Well, help is what you want, help is what you get. Yeah! Oh, I can smell deliciousness just on the other side of the wall! Oh, thank goodness! It finally came! Wow, eight damn good. Ain't that good, yeah. Five Gorons, but still, it's not enough to break that final wall. We need one more Goron. But don't worry, we're gonna get that right now. So let's play our flute. And let's go for the last Goron, which is located in Lake Helium. This one is only kind of be able to get once you've been at the Palace of Winds, because you need the Rock's Cape. What do you mean, what do you need the Rock's Cape for in this place? You need to swim, don't you? No, that's the whole point. You don't want to swim, you want to be on the land, not on the water. You see in the digging wall to the right there? That's where we're going. But, this place has no way you can get up here, because Link doesn't want to jump up. And see? I failed instantly. So, let's go up again, and we try again. There we go. And I failed again. So, as you see, we just need to jump through those three, and then jump across. One. Two. And two. There we go. And now, let's get through our digging mitts, or mole mitts. Let's go through here. Now, instead of going right on this one, go instead to the left. Dig your way through. Just as well with some mysterious shells, which I'm kind of just going to waste, but fine. Let's beat this worm. Known from the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, the boss of the tower. I don't remember the name. Midas Tower or something? I can't remember. And here we have the final one. Now, what will happen this time? Five Gorons can't take down the last wall, but perhaps if they have one more helper, what will happen then? Almost there, Goron. But it's still just not breaking. Poor Gorons. Well, they need help. And here, help is. So, this must be a Goron cave I heard about. I heard to help. Just in the nick of time, I'd like everyone to get another Goron! Let's see. Yes! Yeah! There we go. The final wall has been breached, and now it's time for us to go and see what is inside that Goron cave. What treasure awaits for us inside the cave with the Gorons? So, first, let's blow our flute and let's head to the Lon Lon Ranch. But of course, you get there faster. We have two choices. I'd rather actually go with uh, going to town. I think that's the fastest way. There we go. And we roll our way to the eastern exit of town. Now we just head south to down here. And here we go. Now let's see what is inside the Goron Cave. See, this was the ones where we had two Gorons. When they both knocked down the wall, they went in here. Now they knocked the wall with four Gorons. And then we have the final spot here with a treasure chest. 200 freaking rupees, and I just wasted it because I'm already capped with money, but that's fine. And here we have them. Oh, thank goodness, we found that room. That was a long way to dig. Together, there's no rock we can't dig through. These rocks are delicious. I just want to stay here forever. It's nice having all my friends here, but sometimes I can't tell them apart. You know, the 
check the corners here at once, you start to smell a little pipe. <laughs> that corner that you're trying to carry is a little scary. I can bet. But what is he this for? Whoa, look at this chest. What is inside? Let's find out it. We got an empty bottle. Yes, this is the where you get the final empty bottle in the game. We have three from before. Now we have the fourth and final bottle. So if you want all four bottles, go through the Goron side quest and the final bottle will be yours. Great. So now the Goron side quest is actually completed. Great. That means we are one step closer to the end of the game. But I still think we should do some more stuff before we enter the final place in the game. You know what? Since we have a few minutes left, at least I want to spend some more few minutes, let's spend some of those mysterious shells we've been collecting, because those have been kept with. We have 999, remember? The chance for you getting a uh, statue is 100% the first time. And for every, every shell you use, the chance increases by 1%. But the more shells you use per chant, the bigger chance you have to get a new one. We have some new figurines, of course, which you always have when you progress in the game. Let's trade. Let's use just one, because 98%. Let's pull the lever, see what we get. This is what we get. Aha! Speaking of which, Sorcerer Vati. When the young Minish donned Ezlo's magic cap, he took this evil form. Now he searches for the light force in his quest to become all powerful. That's pretty nasty. Congratulations! Yeah! Okay, let's do one more. Okay, so one has one to use. You can see another chance going down by 1%, but for every shell you add, the chance increases by 1%. Let's just take one. That's what we get. Remember, still a chance that I might get a one half from before, but let's see. Ah, golden rope. A piercing. Well, we're not sure. Legendary golden rope. It's much more aggressive than the normal ones. We'll attack you on sight. There we go. Okay, one more. That's the last one for today. Start growing. Now you see the chance will go down to 96% because we already have taken one off. Okay, now let's see what we get this time. Don't worry, I will not have a whole episode for this. It's just going to be too boring. Can I pull the lever? Oh, I didn't pull it off. There we go. Now let's see what this final statue will be. Gustav, Royal Spirit. The spirit of an ancient king of Hyrule who wishes to secure peace in his land from beyond the grave. He was very fond of the people of the Wind Tribe. That's pretty cool. So we got another figurine, that's cool. We got, I think we have five now? Let's see. Here we have the list. So we have Sosarwati. Check the money list we have. Look at the amount of statue figurines. 130 figurines we have to, we can collect in this game. And I'm just gonna tell you something right now, which is a bit of a spoiler. You know, if you want to get all the figurines in the game, you must beat the game first. That's right, this game is one of the only Zelda games in history to have any post-end game content. Now, if I will do the post-end game content, I don't really know because it's not that much to do except from collecting figurines and getting a new cool item from a special person after uh, beating the main game. I mean, what's the point really? It's collection based, but it's not really getting all powerful because you already beat the game without it, so you want to beat it. Anyways, my time in this episode is over. We have got himself the Goron Quest side quest complete, and now comes the question what to do next. Well, we'll find out next time as we're getting close to the end of the game of The Legend of Zelda. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, go feedback, or talk about this game, leave a comment below. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel to get some content updates, and that's gonna be it for now. So I'll see you guys next time, as my story of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap continues.